want to know what's the perfect settings for your stream in terms of quality. You want to have the best settings and the best medium where it's not too much, but not too little. And I'm going to show you guys how to set that up on OBS, what requirements you might need and all that. I'm going to show you a couple websites that will help you and guide you through this process. Let's just get into the video and let's start. So definitely you're going to want to download on um, speed test. Knowing how much upload you have is going to determine whether or not your stream can handle the bitrate because bitrate uses up a lot of bandwidth. If there's a lot of people in your house that use internet, it's better to use a lower bitrate to compensate fairly. But mine right now is at 41. Between 20 and 40 is like a good standpoint. You could do pretty high bit rates, maybe up to 3,000, 4,000, 5,000, 6,000 might be pushing it. You might have to test that yourself to see how that works. Stream twitch.tv slash encoding. So basically you're going to have a bunch of settings here. It's a good starting point for you guys. A lot of people say NVIDIA. If you have a NVIDIA graphics card, it's better to start off here because if you use X264 is going to be using a lot of your CPU. It can be very taxing on your system on your computer laptop whatever you're using eventually through time it might wear down your computer and then you might have to replace your cpu you might not want to do that you might always go for nvidia if you have a good enough graphics card the best resolution on twitch right now is 1080p 60 fps or you could do 720 60 fps maybe you can't do 1080p because maybe your computer can't handle it but maybe you can do 720p but you want to do a little bit better maybe your computer can handle a bit more so i'm going to show you that in between these two things while still having 60 fps so your stream is super smooth if you've never heard of twitch inspector you're in luck as i'm going to explain to you what it does it allows you to do stream tests without going live on your main channel and it's really simple to do and i'm going to show you guys how to do that really quick you're going to run a stream test go to your twitch dashboard look for your stream key you're going to copy that you're going to paste that first when you go into your stream settings in obs and then you're going to copy this last bit part right here and you're going to put that in front of your stream key and when you're done you can go live test your live without going live on your main channel your stream is not ready so you definitely want to test it before actually being ready so this is a good way to start off and i'm going to show you guys how to do that you're going to go into creator dashboard i believe it is in in settings and then it's going to show your primary stream key right here you're just going to copy that and now we're going to go into obs now so you're going to want to go up here where it says file settings now that you're here what you copied you're going to want to go into stream key you're going to want to copy that paste it into here go into twitch inspector remember run a stream test and copy this again and paste it into the front so you can start this accordingly so you don't mess up on anything and so no one none of your viewers will know that you're going live which is what you need you're gonna put it in front apply and then press ok if you put auto recommended it's gonna pick the best server for the location that you're at so it's going to give you the best ping best signal all that stuff you can't do 1080p because it doesn't you just can't and you want to do more than 720p so what's the in between 936p by 60 fps this is what i use for my stream i think it's a really good sweet spot in my opinion now what i recommend nvidia h.264 new i've never used this one i've always used a new one and then you're gonna pick rescale output and this is the number that you're gonna need it's 1664 by 936 this is gonna give you the 936 60 fps settings when someone goes in to twitch and they click on the quality this is gonna pop up not the 1664 but the 936 p is going to show 60 fps it can go down to 720 p 60 fps as well for the rate control you're going to want to put cbr this is the best setting for your bit rate which you might have to test this as you do your test stream i'm at 41 upload speed which is pretty decent actually really good internet for some reason i feel like if i go higher on bit rate i start dropping frames my obs little square goes to red on a good balance for me personally i like to keep the bit rate at 45 I will go up and down on the arrows just to see what works better for you as you're doing your live stream testing you might want to do that and go up and down go the lowest you can and start going up go to 2000 3000 4000 5000 6000 if you could do 6000 hooray good for you that's the best quality you're gonna get keyframe interval the website recommends two i put zero it's just what works for me i've always used zero preset i leave it at quality a lot of people put max quality that's fine do what works for you test them out because you're just doing a test stream for profile i put it at high some people click look ahead on this i don't i just leave it unblanked and then cycle visual tuning i check that gpu at zero max 
B frames at two. And then from there, you should be good to go. After you're done with output, you're gonna wanna go into video, which you're gonna see all this here. Now, you're gonna wanna change your base canvas resolution. Usually it's defaulted, I think, to 920, 1080. If it's not, change it to that. Out put scaled resolution this is the resolution that you want to be encoded to twitch you need this to be matched the same as your output settings so make sure to put whatever you put here for rescale output make sure to put it the same as the scaled resolution here downscale filter i personally while you're doing your testing on your stream i would go through all these see what works best for you lancos is the best way it gives you the most cleanest look i would believe and then common fps values this is what's going to change the fps in your twitch channel take your time with this mess around with all the buttons mess around with all the settings and you should be good i decided to go into one of my VODs so i can show you guys the difference in quality now big tip here 936p 60 the 60 is the 60 fps this is personally my favorite in between spot between 1080p and 720p the problem with this what i've noticed is that when you go on twitch and you go live sometimes it would just show one sometimes you have to turn off the stream end the stream go back up and then you'll have all the options you know it's good to have all these options i think it's permanent for partner streamers but for affiliates and non-affiliates we have to unfortunately end and then start it up again so we can have the full list because some people can't do 930 or 1080p it's nice to have all the options that's just a quick little tip since there's a lot of gameplay going on here you're gonna still see some pixelated stuff but it's not that bad it still runs pretty smooth really good see when we stay still look how high quality it looks it looks very nice and clean but once you start going into gameplay and all that you know sometimes it's not gonna have a super clear view if you look at any top streamers no matter what there's gonna be pixel little pixels you're gonna see as long as it's not really extrusioning ugly to look at but no matter what you could look at the biggest streamers and they legit will still have a little bit so it's almost impossible to get rid of it in my opinion for what i've experienced you have to have like probably the best internet probably google like fiber internet you might have to have probably the most high-end pc ever and maybe you'll have the best but most of us don't have that so you know you just work with what you have and that's why i use 936 by 60 fps it's literally the best setting i think in all of like for twitch streaming in general if you can't go to 720p um 60 fps if not if you can't do 60 fps go down to 30 fps it's not a big deal as long as you can stream right and there you guys have it there goes a full tutorial on how to have the best resolution for your twitch stream i hope this video brings you a ton of value join our discord we have a lot of helpful people in there if you have a question comment down below let me know i want to communicate with you guys i want to know more about you what what do you want Want to see on the channel do you want to see more tutorials i've been trying to do more tutorials because it's something that i really like doing i like to provide that value for you for free you know this information is free all i ask is for your support and communication and that's all i ask for so guys don't forget to check out these two videos the last video i did was elgato 4k cam link tutorial on how to set that up which is going to help you if you just got one you're lucky that video is going to help you with that and also we have one of the best shout out commands for Twitch setup tutorial on OBS as well. So if you want to learn how to do that, go check these two videos out. I would really appreciate it. And I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.